and upon description, it will take you directly to the configuration. So when you go to the configuration, it bypasses everything else. Now we're going to go to configuration. So we could change based on the string that we have in here. So if you have, let's say, um, the beginning of the pump, let's say we have 515, um, then you hit apply. We're missing a dash in there, that's what happened. 515 dash, right? Because we know that's a valid number. I'm not sure about the rest yet. If, let's say, if I'm just gonna using the description string, I hit apply. You will notice that you could not decode the string. You'll have this error message, but as we go through all this um, drop down menu selections, you will notice um, the error will disappear. So let's say the customer's like, you know what, they want to have 515 SM3, but they do not want to have the double diaphragm, standard FF, uh, standard um, PTFE diaphragm is fine. And you notice. Right. Okay, and, and the customer as well, I do I want to have a pump, however, I do not want to have a motor, but I would like to have an IC punch adapter, so just a bare pump. Go ahead, select that. Okay, so just how, how to get the configuration multiple ways. And so now the freight is deleted. We have 515. We have without the flange adapters, just without the motor, I meant, and just of um, IC flange adapters. So from here, we'll go ahead, um, select the quote manager. And one thing about this is we could, uh, save this to the new line or create the new line. But if you could also um, override the existing line, because this is the line that we were working on before. But if, wanna ex <clears throat> if we want to override that, just go ahead and generate the package, it will, it will override the existing line.